when I watch a vlog, my favorite part is just the peaceful morning. But today I could not provide that for you because I came out this morning at 5.30 and there was coffee everywhere on my countertop. It's over there. It's down here on the floor. It got on the laptop case, G's laptop case, and yeah. It just, it got everywhere. And I didn't understand because when I came out, the coffee pot was in the coffee machine. You know, like if I had messed up and I didn't put the coffee pot in there, okay, I get it. Well, I took him out. What in the heck do you, can you see that? It's a hole. It's a giant hole in the bottom of the coffee pot. So, so that's how my morning is going. Guys, I have to show you how crazy I've been these last few days and how stressed I've been with the holidays. Okay, so I open up my spice cabinet or whatever and I go to grab the Cholula and look what I found up here. Can you just believe I did this? Those are peppers. I put peppers in my eggs every freaking morning and this morning I went in my fridge and I was like, where the heck are my peppers? I know I cut some up. I know I had some prepped. Guess what? They were in the cabinet. What the heck? <gasps> Hello friends. I never officially welcomed you to Christmas. Day 15. I just got home from work. Please don't mind my hair or the stack of stuff behind me that I just got from Walmart. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up. First of all, I got this that I thought was a doormat and I was so excited because I was like, oh, this is perfect. This matches our theme. Well, I got home and I realized this is like our gift box. It's not a doormat. So love that for me. Um, but I did find some good stuff at Walmart. Let me show you. They had these, they're like circus animal cookies or circus animal crackers, whatever you call them. I don't know, is it crackers or cookies? You know like the little circus animal things? Crackers or cookies? I don't know, whatever the heck they are. But they had circus animals, but in reindeer shapes. And they're like red and green. So I thought that was pretty flipping cute. And finally, the seasonal flavor, gingerbread flavor of Halo Top. So I am very excited for this. I love the seasonal flavors. So I got that and then, I mean, I know we just did a whole popcorn tasting video, but they had this limited limited edition holiday flavor snickerdoodle in the Smart Pop brand. So I got that to try. And then also, I came home to a package from Hydro Jug. So I figured we could get into this guy. Oh my gosh, their packaging is so easy to get into. That's, that's a good thing in my book. Okay, so this is the blush colored hydro jug. So this is half a gallon and then it has like a little, let me open it all the way up. It has like a little handle here. And then it also has a handle right here and it just says hydro jug on the front. This color is very cute. And then this is 
normally like $19, I think, but I got this during the Black Friday sale, so I don't remember how much it was. And then I got a couple of straws for it. I feel like I'm like so much better at drinking water when I have a straw, so I got straws. So let's open this. So this is what the top of the straw looks like and then it's like rubbery kind of. It's like kind of bendable a little bit, not super bendable, especially towards the bottom. It's very bendable. So this part just kind of, oh gosh, this part just kind of like flips down in the bottom of the jug. So that's exciting. And then you can actually just like close the top of the lid right onto the top of the straw. And then I also got the insulated sleeve so this is what this packaging looks like and then it's really cute because they have like a strap so you can like carry it with you and then this just fits right around the jug this one is kind of like a what are these called plants <laughs> plants it's kind of like palms almost like a tropical look I don't remember the name of it maybe it's on here yeah tropic sleeve so this is very, very cute. And then it has like a little pouch here like for your phone. And then another little pouch for whatever you wanna put in there. And then it has this little strap that comes with it so that you can literally just like put the jug in there and like carry it on your shoulder. That's if I can get this attached. So there's that on there. And then this just sits right inside of here, I think. Cool. So that sleeve just sits on there nicely. Then like I said, you can throw this over your shoulder. It's adjustable. Cute. And that's all I got and I have to go edit the video that goes up today even though it's very late so let's get rolling into that and then if we do any other exciting things tonight we probably won't uh I'll take you with us so if not maybe I'll just continue this into tomorrow and maybe we'll be more exciting you think we're gonna be more exciting tomorrow maybe, maybe. <laughs> probably not maybe we'll go to Miramar tomorrow mm-hmm yeah, maybe we'll go. What? That's what we're supposed to. Well, we said Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. But maybe we'll just go shopping tomorrow. We'll bring you. I'm depressed, so I need to spend money. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm going to go. I used a hand sanitizer, and it made my hand smell very weird. Um. Okay, so I'm going to go get today's video posted and hide my hair because uh, this looks rough. So, I'll catch up with you guys later, maybe. The rest of my day was also rough. Oh, I have to show you the most important thing that I got from Walmart. I had a very rough morning without this, so I got a replacement one. This is actually the reason I went to Walmart. So, all right, let's get into editing and doing something with this rat's nest on my head. Hello friends, um, it's been some time since the last time we talked, um, hi, so I was feeling very overwhelmed the last time that I talked to you guys and I was just stressed the heck out, um, but I think like, oh and don't mind that noise, I'm making myself a salad for dinner, um, I think I'm just like very stressed because like obviously like we've talked about like holiday time. Is stressful and also I don't know if I've told you guys but we actually are leaving to go to Mexico in like almost exactly a week from now and the fact that we're trying to internationally travel during the most stressful and busy time of the year in the middle of a pandemic is stressful so 
I think that's really getting to me. But you know what? The last time I talked to you, I was having a really, really bad morning. And I decided that I'm not going to have any more bad times. We can't be having bad times during Christmas 2020. So I tried to put myself in a better headspace. Um, I went to the gym the last two days. So I will throw in my work, one of my workouts from there. Um, but I figured today I would just kind of make my salad and also give you guys, um, some ideas for where Christmas presents, if you're still struggling. Hi, sorry. Okay. So my, uh, battery died. I made my giant salad. Um, anyway, but like I was saying, so I am getting ready to order my dad's Christmas present and I thought we could go over some ideas for Christmas presents in case you're also stuck, especially considering it's almost Christmas. Literally less than 10 days till Christmas. I mean, for us, Christmas is on Sunday. Christmas with my family is on Sunday. Oh. So I just thought we could go over some gift ideas. Um, so what I really like to do is I like to think of like either practical gifts or sentimental gifts. So like practical gifts as in like, I know that they're never gonna buy it for themselves, or like they're gonna use it every single day. Or like sentimental gifts would be like pictures or cups or things like that. So for example, like my dad, I'm about to order his present. Um, they're about to move into a new house. So I'm getting him this canvas printed with a photo of my siblings and I and him on it. And it's like his favorite picture with all of us. So I'm getting that printed on a large canvas. Um, my brother is very into like racing cars. So I got him a dash cam. My sister, she's in the other room. <laughs> um, she has like a Google thing and she always moves into the bathroom when she like takes a shower so she can listen to music. So we got her a speaker for in the shower um, and some other little things. What? Not yet. <laughs> it hasn't arrived yet though. Are you um, checking the tracking? No, I should tra check the tracking, but I haven't. Um, also, our cousin just moved into a new home. So we got her like a food saver system. Um, you know, so those are practical, uh, and then, like, my mom, for example, has been wanting car seat covers forever, so I got her car seat covers. Um, gee, what'd you get me? Oh, I was gonna ask you the same thing. <laughs> what do you think are, like, good gifts? For me? No! A drone. Bruno! That was a giant burp, buddy! Um, no, good gifts for, like, anybody. Like, what would you get me for Christmas this year in particular? <laughs> Nothing. I get coal. I get you popcorn. You've been on a popcorn kick. I know, we haven't tried this one yet. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, okay. Those are my ideas for gifts. Hopefully that was kind of helpful. Um, for friends and stuff like that, I always think, like, Cups are a good idea because, like, that's practical. They'll use it. Or, like, koozies or little cooler things. Like, I always think those are good ideas for friends. Books I really like. Um, if they're into, like, fitness, you could let them try, like, a new product of some sort. Or, you know what? I don't know if they – babe, don't be burping on the vlog. Um, or, okay, so I know that I unboxed my hydro jug for you guys, and I don't know if this sounds like a silly gift, but, like, if I received this as a gift, I would be so happy. Let me review my hydro jug for you, because I am so happy with it. Here she is, okay? What I'm loving about this is, so, it does have the straw. Straw? Straw. And then you just pop her back in there and close it up. The thing that I'm really liking about this too, besides like the super nifty pouch here for my phone and the super nifty strap for when I always have 15 trillion things in my hands, my absolute favorite thing I think is that the mouth is gigantic. So you can even fit like ice cubes in here. Like she has like, it's not Hydro Drug, it's another brand. And that's actually why I ordered this because I just kept taking hers. But hers, it's like the opening is like that big. Like what am I gonna fit in there? Nothing. 
Um, but this one, you can fit giant ice cubes and everything. So it stays nice and cold. And then this little like pouch keeps it insulated. So if you have a runner friend or a fitness friend or just somebody that knows that they need to drink more water, then this is a great idea. Really, what else do you think are good gifts? You gonna show them what you think a good gift is? That's a good gift, huh? She's literally begging me to get a truck right now. But we don't need a truck. Yeah, we... we don't need a truck. Anyway. But yeah, those are gift ideas that I have for you. And the review of my hydro jug, which I am loving. Um, but we're probably going to have a pretty chill night, right? Super chill. We have a lot to do tomorrow. So you'll probably come with us tomorrow. Right? Are they going to come with us tomorrow? Mm -hmm. um, but we're probably going to have a chill night. What are you showing them now? So you can remember which one I want. Get out of here! <laughs> There's no room. I think what I want for Christmas is a new girlfriend. <laughs> um, so the other night, uh, I just put like whatever Christmas movie was on Freeform on, and it was The Santa Claus with, what's that guy's name? Tim Allen? Mm -hmm. Is it Tim Allen? Yeah. Um, and then G really liked it. So we ended up watching the second one. And like, guys, I'm a grandma. Like, I like to go to bed early. Because of uh, Christmas right now, I'm going to bed very late because I'm up every night editing. Every single night, I'm going to bed very freaking late. But it was like 11.30 at night and we had just finished the second one. And she's like, third one, third one, third one. But I was like, nope, nope, no heckin' way. No, not a chance. So I think tonight we're probably going to watch the third one. Obviously, we're going to have some hot chocolate. And I'm probably going to have some gingerbread halo top. And we're probably going to go buy more gingerbread halo top tomorrow because that flavor is delicious. It's like super cinnamony. And then I have like a cinnamon maple whipped cream that I put on top of it. And then it has like the icing from gingerbread cookies. It's got like thick swirls of that throughout it. So good. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of my salad. Um, please enjoy here one of my workouts. And I will catch up with you whenever we do whatever we're gonna do. Woo! Not when we buy you a truck. You're not getting a truck. <sighs> also, appreciate okay, my dinner, giant water, <laughs> Gigi's dinner. You're thriving, babe. Is that your appetizer right there? No, the churros? Yeah. Yeah. They're so good. They are really good. I was thinking those would be really good on top of like hot chocolate, like whipped cream and then some of those like crushed up. Wouldn't that be good? Fine. Don't feed me one. <laughs> All right. I'll catch up with you guys whenever we do something.
Hi. Um, so we watched the Santa Claus 3. Doesn't Scooby look so stinking cute? Wait, 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 wait. There she is. Doesn't she look so cute? Anyway, um, so we watched that. I'm editing the video that you're seeing right now. And that's pretty much it. Uh, our very night has been very chill, right babe? She tried to convince me to get a truck like 15 more times. Like I said, we watched the Santa Claus 3. Which one did you like the best? One, two, or three? gonna say the same thing I think the second one is my favorite one too so but we have our beautiful tree going and I'm about to eat some gingerbread halo top G's probably about to eat churro ice cream or churro cereal right Yes. <laughs> and now we are watching prep and landing uh, it's on Disney Plus it's like a little shorts essentially and it's actually really cute it's about the elves that are supposed to prep for Santa landing. Get it? And it's really cute. We watched one and now we're on another one. You like it? Yeah. So, and we're probably gonna go to bed too soon. <laughs> we're probably gonna go to bed soon. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another Christmas video. Stay jolly, stay positive. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Scooby oh, wants to say good night. Excuse me. Good mommy. Good night. Mommy. You wanna give me a kiss? No. You wanna give me a kiss? No. Oh no. That's dirty. No. <laughs> okay, really guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Baby. <laughs> Scooby, you want to say good night? Okay, you want to get on the floor with me? We'll be prepping landing guys at the face of Christ.